what is contactor interlocking and why it is so important assalam alaikum friends i hope you are all well it is a second video of electrical equipment used in cnc machines i will give a link in the description of first part of this series so let's get into the video we want to own one of them while other one is off condition even we will try to manually own it will be remain off contactor interlocking is very important for preventing short circuit if we don't interlock both contactors a huge blast will occur there are many applications of interlocking but our focus will be at cnc machine major applications in cnc machines is turning center electric turret diplomatic turret is also a category in electric turret chip conveyor motor direction switching clockwise and counter clockwise is also a common application of contactor interlocking machining center tool mags in rotation clockwise and counter clockwise spindle motor clockwise and counter clockwise switching also application in cnc machines sometimes so there are two types of interlocking mechanical interlocking and electrical interlocking but there are two sub types of mechanical interlocking number one is two combined contactor equipped with interlocking system and second one is separate two contactors and one interlocking unit first we will see two combined contactor with mechanical interlocking feature when we press the first contactor second contactor will not work even we press it manually it will not work and if we press the second contactor the first one will not work because of both are the manually interlocked as you can see supply wiring and phase switching wiring already done in combined contactor type you can save time by using this type of contactor as you can see these are the two separate contactors and one interlocking unit first we will combine the one contactor to interlocking unit then after other contactor to interlocking unit now we will test these contactors as we had tested combined contactors before its working mechanism is same as combined contactors and second type of interlocking is electrical interlocking we will start interlocking in the four step step 1 is supply wiring with no wire interlock first of all we will make a wiring diagram of step 1 then we will execute according to it now we are going to do supply wiring wiring with no push button and with nc points of each other contactor now we are going to test our wiring and yes it's working you can see the interlocking wiring result at this moment when we pressing the one contactor the second one is not working if we press push button second contactor intentionally while first contactor push button already being pressed it won't work Now we will go for step 2 wiring latch wiring. First we will make the latch wiring diagram then we'll execute it. You can see wiring result and benefit of interlocking because while we press the second contactor push button intentionally first one is not working and also preventing for short circuiting. Now our third step is NC push button wiring for both contactors. First we will make the wiring diagram then we'll execute it practically. For this now we are going to add nc push button which is represent in red color you can see the nc wiring result the nc wiring is using for break the latch of both contactors now step 4 is phase switching wiring first of all we will make the wiring diagram of phase switching the main purpose of this diagram is to run the three phase motor and switching its direction mainly i am focusing at this diagram for three phase supply and how to make wiring for three phase switching first we will do the three phase parallel supply wiring then we will do the three phase switching wiring for motor direction it is a three phase power supply and now finally it is a motor supply wiring now it's time to test the complete wiring we press the push button to start rotating and now we press the push button for change the direction and now if we press the nc push button it will be off and now it's time to show the bonus video who is watching this video till end it is a practical example of contactor interlocking in cnc machines and without interlocking it can't work safely without short circuit if you learn something and get some knowledge from this video please subscribe our channel it take too much time and effort to present a good video Thanks for watching Allah Hafiz